Hello guys and welcome back to Tichita. In this video, we're going to analyze buckling in thin wall tubes. Let's move on to part module and create the geometry after model we want to analyze. Simply click on part, click on manager, click on create. Our model is 3D deformable, a solid extrusion. We're going to analyze a small tube. Therefore, we're going to leave the approximate size as one. We're going to create a cross section in the shape of a square and the size of two centimeter by two centimeter and the thickness of a millimeter. Let's click on add dimension and adjust the sizes for the square at the bottom. We're going to enter 0 0.02 for each side. You need to simply click on the side and then enter the size at the bottom. Now to give it a thickness, we're going to use the offset feature. Hold down shift key and select all sides of the square. Click done and then provide a size of 1 mm or 0.001. Oops, sorry, I entered 10 mm instead of 1 mm. Let's adjust that. Click done twice and then you should enter the base extrusion window now. We need to provide the length of the tube under depth. Let's give it a number as 0.5 meters, which is 50 centimeters, and then click OK. Now let's start analyzing the buckling on this tube. If you don't know what is buckling, it is the deformation under compression forces. Our goal is to find the force at which the buckling starts to happen in the tube and it's called linear buckling. First of all, let's move on to property module and define the material. Click on create material and give it a name. This time, let's use steel. Click on mechanical, elasticity, elastic, and provide the Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio. Click on OK. Now, let's click on create section. It is a solid homogeneous section. Make sure it's steel and click on OK. Now, let's assign that material to the tube and click on OK. We've reviewed all these steps in the previous video. So if you have any doubt, you can just check the previous video. Let's move on to assembly module. Click on instance, then create. Under parts, select independent. Click on OK. Now let's move on to the step module. Click on step, then manager, and then create. Let's change the procedure type to linear perturbation and click buckle. Click continue. Now we need to provide it with the number of eigenvalues. These eigenvalues are going to tell the software how many modes of buckling we need to see. For demonstration, we're only choosing 5 at this point. And at this section, we're going to define the number of iterations. This number tells the software on how many iterations it needs to go through to converge to the solution. Here we're going to select 300. Remember, if this number is not large enough, software might not converge to a solution and you will get an error message. Click OK and close. We're going to skip interaction module and move on to the load module. Let's assume that one end of the tube is fixed and the other end is free. Click BC and click create. We have a mechanical symmetry condition. Now let's go and choose the face that we want to consider as a fixed face. Now click done and click Encaster to ensure that face is completely fixed. 
Now we're going to apply a compression load on the free end of the tube. However, we don't have any surface to apply the load since this is a thin wall structure. To get around this, we need to define a reference point at the center of the cross section. And then we will constrain that reference point to the thin wall face. In such manner, the software will consider the properties of the thin wall tube to the reference point. This means that if we apply a force onto the reference point, we will apply the force to the union of the face and the reference point together. Click on Tools, click on Datum, and then select Midway between two points, and then we will select the center of two edges. Like so. Now you should be able to see the reference point at the center. Let's close. Let's move on to Mesh Module. Click on C, click on Instance, and then provide approximate global size as 0 0.01, and then click OK, and then click on Mesh the part instance, and yes. And then you should see a uniform mesh along the tube. Now let's move on to Interaction Module. First, let's define the reference point. Click Tools, click Reference Points, and select the datum that was defined. Click Done. Let's go back to Constrain, Manage, Create, click Rigid Body, click Continue. On the Reference Point, click the Arrow button and select the Reference Point. Now on the Region Type, click Pin and then click the Arrow button and select the Face. Click Done and then click OK and Close. Let's move on to Load Module. Click Load, Manager, Create, Category is Mechanical and Type for Selected Step is Concentrated Force. Click Continue and then select the Reference Point. Click Done. Now Force along F1 and F2 is 0 and F3 which is along Z axis is going to be minus 1. This is because the force is compression force and is unitless. Click OK and close. Now let's move on to job module. Click job manager create provide the name let's say buckling click continue click OK click submit and then OK. We have to wait for the software to solve this problem now. A status is completed. Let's click results. As you can see, we have five eigenvalues. Remember, the eigenvalues are in Newton. This number means that the force that this structure can withhold before entering buckling is about 8500 Newton. If you click next, you will see various modes of buckling. Now let's go to the first mode of buckling and click animate. You can see the deformations in an animation. You can go to options, animation, and reduce frame rate. Click OK. We can also repeat this process with second mode of buckling, which is seen as lateral. It is worthy of mention that the magnitude shown here is unitless. This is because the force that we provided was also unitless. The numbers shown are not the deformation that is going to happen under the eigenvalue force. To find out the actual buckling deformation, we need to repeat this process. However, under F3 for loading, we will enter this exact eigenvalue force and then solve the problem again. In that condition, the software will show us a true deformation under the specific eigenvalue buckling load. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow us and subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button below 
and leave a comment if you have any specific questions regarding buckling. See you guys on the next video.